2013 College Game Day is here. You guys are hosting number three, number four, Baylor. Um, what is it like having College Game Day? Oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, looking out of the Atherton windows and seeing all those fans, um, you know, we wake up to go, go through walkthroughs and you wake up and see all those people outside. It's unbelievable. You know, it's just a dream come true for, for players to get to play prime time at night at home. Top 10 matchup, just, it was unreal. Yeah, it was, it was a really fun time. It was, it was cold and uh, Baylor was rolling. Baylor was averaging close to 70 points a game. We were a good offense, uh, but certainly not averaging that many points. Uh, our defensive coaches and our players um, really took that as a challenge. And um, Boone Pickens is a tough place to play. And uh, we, we had uh, a healthy football team. We had some firepower. Uh, we, we had a quarterback that was uh, playing much better than what people thought he could play. And uh, it was just a great experience for us. Running out of the tunnel, it's a cold night, but um, a packed Boone Pickens Stadium. It was very cold, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's one of the things I'll remember is how cold it was. But yeah, that atmosphere, um, you know, you can't, you can't explain, you can't put it into words. Our fans are, are unbelievable in, in that night at night against that team were the best I've seen. Um, here, here we're starting off there. Uh, th their quarterback was Petty then uh, and uh, had gotten him down to the one yard line and, and I believe we got into a situation. Uh, but anyway, they turned the ball over. Castleman just swats it away. Yeah, and, uh, and it started right there. Um, they're, they're, what, three inches from scoring and, uh, and he swats the ball away. Uh, and we get the football back, and it, it kind of started to turn right there because you see there's no score here, and there's there's only six minutes left in the first quarter. Do you remember watching this play and just having Castleman swatted away and being, you know, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, because, you know, I mean, they, they drive it down and looking like they're about to do their thing, be Baylor, and here comes the greatest strip of, of all time, and then we're backed up. You know, just watching it from the sideline is, is – it was a huge momentum change, obviously, and then, you know, we're still not out of the woods, though. Being backed up is always tough, and, and one of these plays, you know, we just we just thought we'd take a chance with our guys. You know, we had taller receivers, um, their corners were a little bit shorter, and we, we thought we'd throw it up and give our guy a chance. This is the first pass, but you complete your first 12 passes. I mean, what kind of role is that for you? I still, I mean, I didn't know that until after the game. You know, it was one of those things where, We'd had a few penalties. We'd had I'd had a delay game on me. Um, we had a, a personal foul, I think. So we didn't feel like we were rolling that well, and I I didn't feel like I had been rolling that well either. But you know, it's not like in baseball where if there's a no hitter, you can see on the board that they have no hits. You know, it's just one of those things where you you don't expect to go out there and complete that many passes in a row, but it just happened. Having him run this one in, and um, you guys get on the board, and the excitement's kind of just. Yeah, you can see right there yeah. in, in Kai's, in it, for Kai to go out after what he's been through and have two touchdowns in a game like this, that's probably one of the cooler moments of, of my career being around a guy like that. Uh, this was a nice plan they had put in out of our three-back offense. We kind of originated the three-back offense and um, they, they had a little twist to it in this game. He's coming back with the, uh, with the play. Uh, he's hitting... Uh, who, who's Juwan he? Seals. Yeah, that was Seals. Yeah, that's a young Jawan Seals. True freshman Jawan yeah. Seals. And uh, Chelf coming back there. I think that's uh, Brandon Shepard. And um, got great protection here. Uh, that 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 was that veteran offensive line that we had. Uh, those guys were all all seniors there, and, and they had given him good protection. But uh, we we got on a roll, and um, the schemes worked. Uh, we started to wear Baylor down. Um, Chef, Chelf started feeling it and couldn't miss for, to, to a certain Yeah, up to extent. this point he hadn't missed. Yet. Yeah, right. He's he was like one time pass. 12 of 12 yep. or something. Mm -hmm. and, and he just got hot. And there's another play that we just put in for this game uh, with Charlie Moore. And um, Baylor had um, a, a, a safety, Ahmad Dixon. And he was regarded as one of the best defensive players in the country. And going into this game, we found a way schematically that we could set our offense to where he would be opposite of where we wanted to run the play, offense, passing or running. And it worked. 
And I think like 80% of the time, we were able to get him away from where we were going to run the ball or throw the ball. And it took him out of the game. He was uh, way up there in the national statistics. And I think six of the tackles that he made in this game were after a 10 yard gain. So um, our offensive coaches did a great job of scheming to get him away from the ball because he was a really, really good player. Was there a point um, maybe before the game or during the game or after the game that you're like, hey, this was my night? After the game, certainly. <laughs> before, I was hoping it would yeah. be, but uh, you know, just one of those things, like I said, just you go out after the game, you, you put a game like that together, you watch your defense dominate the, one of the best offenses of all time for three, four quarters, you know, gave up three points for most of it. They got two late touchdowns, but um, you know, that's going to be the most, one of the most amazing parts is remembering those guys, the effort that Coach Spencer and, and that group put together against a team like this. Well, and this is a team that um, is in week 11, you know, it's not it's not week one, it's not week two. They're playing like this. They've done this to teams all season long, mm -hmm. and you guys have this kind of game against them. Just our night, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, we had a good good game plan um, with how aggressive they were on defense. We knew that we had to mix in some, some trick plays to, to keep them on their toes. Um, you know, in the second half, we kind of realized some of their schemes up front that they were slanting a certain way, so we kind of slowed down to, to try and get the running game going a little bit better. and. and kind of gauge which way we thought they were going to slant and kind of run the ball with it. And, and in the second half, I think we ran the ball better because of it. So it was just one of those things where we, we spotted stuff that maybe other teams hadn't been able to spot and kind of just attacked it. This is a, you know, a fun play for you, I have to imagine. Yeah, this, you know? <laughs> every quarterback's dream. I just wish I could have scored. Looking back on it, I was, I should, I, I think if I would have dove, I would have came up I short, so so which, which would have been more embarrassing. So I'm glad I got pushed out. But yeah, just, you know, we, we tried this play a few times. Um, it worked the year before against OU. They had an aggressive defense. The year before in the bowl against Purdue, just kind of, you know, to have fun and, and um, keep everything relaxed in a bowl game, and it didn't work. So it was nice to see it see it work again. This is one of those games where a lot was working. There's the three back offense again. We gave it to Kai Staley, and uh, he just runs over and runs right in their face. And there was an attitude. You know, we're in the third quarter here, and uh, I think it's 27 to three. Uh, so great schemes, uh, players were excited, players were in good condition, we were a healthy football team. Um, there's a, that's a young Ogba, isn't it? <laughs> Manuel Ogba coming off the edge there early in his career. And Ogba's one of those guys that if you, if, if somebody would have asked me about him his, the first time I saw him, I would have told you he would have played in the NFL. I mean, he's just one of those guys that you saw and you knew right away. He came in and he didn't look like a freshman. <laughs> he never looked like a freshman. And he just, I mean, like you said, in this game, he's already starting to make big plays. And then we've obviously seen what he's done after that. Running that touchdown in and um, seeing this and, you know, what, what's kind of the emotion level like at this point in the game? At this point, you know, I know it's still Baylor, but being up 42 to 10 in the fourth, you know, we didn't want to take our foot off the gas, but at the same time, you know, you got to kind of enjoy the moment. You know, you're out there with your friends, your defense is dominated. We've played well, the fans are going nuts. Top 10 matchup, and it's just one of those things that you kind of got to enjoy the moment. And it looks like we didn't even let up. Yeah. I forgot about this play. Juwan went up, Seals, another yeah. one. One of those things where they, they made me look good, you know, just throw it up. Whether it's Aitman, Shepard, Seals, Tracy, Charlie, they went up and caught it all night. And, Gundy doesn't look very happy. Yeah, I'm just saying, man. I know it was a cold night. He mentioned he was like, that was really cold. Yeah. Then you finally you get the smile, smile. Oh, yeah, God. at the very, very end. And it was really cold. That Gator wave was really cold. Um, and uh, it was, a, it was a, a really good time for all of us. Uh, there's my son Gavin there with me. You know, he, he's been with me through all those games, uh, right next to me. Uh, it's been a, been a great special, a great time and a special moment for all of us. It's a great day for Oklahoma State. A cold one, but um, absolutely a memorable one for everyone in that stadium. No doubt. Great time. Walking out right here, um, kind of realizing, letting it sink in, kind of what just happened. What's that walk like? You know, it was awesome just taking it in, um, knowing that, you know, for us, for me as a senior, I only had, you know, that was my second to last game here. Just one of those moments that 
try and try and take in every memory with with the fans, with you know my family's in the stands, my friends, you know, on the field, and just soak it all up. And you know, one of those things that you just gotta enjoy it for what it was.